Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel The Code Studio. So in our previous GetX video, we have learned that what is state management, what are dependency injections and what are the basic three principles of GetX which makes it more easy to understand and a very efficient package for handling your state management, dependency injection and even for the routing management of your Flutter application. So we have seen that how to create and use the alert dialog box, snack bar button and bottom navigation bar provided by the getx package. Okay, we have also seen that their syntaxes are very much easy to understand and they are very useful in a practical way. We have also seen that how to switch themes of your application using the getx change theme method like if you want to change to dark mode then it's just a one line of code to change the theme. Okay. So in this video, we are going to deep dive into the routing management provided by the getx package. So to navigate from one screen to another, we simply write get dot to and inside its bracket, we write the screen name. Okay. So in our second screen, we are having multiple buttons. So we'll see the functionality and we see the different types of the routing functions provided by the getx package. Now, if you are new to our channel, then please do subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon given below to stay notified for our latest videos. Now, our first button says that getx navigator dot push method. Okay, so, so the basic syntax provided by the flutter to navigate from one screen to another is navigator dot off context dot push method inside which you have to pass your context as well as the material page route with the builder context. Okay. So, instead of using this line of code, you can simply use get dot to method and inside it you can pass your screen name which you want to navigate to. Okay. Here there is no need of context. As well as you can also provide the transitions. Okay. The default transition for navigating from one screen to another in Flutter is bottom to top. Okay. But here there are various type of transitions provided by the getx package. So we will be using right to left transition. Okay. But if you don't want to use this way also to navigate from one screen to another. So you can simply write navigator dot push method provided by the getx and here there is no need to pass the context as well. And instead of the capital navigator, we will write the navigator in lowercase. Okay. So if we comment this and we'll uncomment this part. So after hot restart, now if we click on the get text navigator dot push button, see it works. Now if you want to go to the next screen with no option to go back to the previous screen from which you have navigated to this destination screen. So for that, we will be using the get.off method and we'll write the screen name where we want to navigate. Okay. So when you will use this method, so you will navigate your, you will navigate to your third screen. But when you click on this back button, you will be navigated to the first screen. You can see the second screen have been skipped. Okay, we have not navigated to the previous screen of the third screen. It has been removed from the stack. Okay, so this is the use of the get.off method. So we make use of such screens in our login screens or splash screen of your applications. Now, our third functionality is get.off all method. Now, if you want to go to the next screen and cancel all the previous route, okay, not a single screen, you want to cancel all the previous routes which we have seen earlier before navigating to our third screen. Then all that screens will be removed from our stack. Okay, so when you will click on our third button, you can see we are directed to the third screen. But here there is no uh, back symbol in our app bar. Okay, we can't go back. So such screens are useful in our shopping carts or poll and test screens of your application. So now there is no way to go back to our previous screen. So inside our third screen here we are having one race button and inside this we are going to get to the 
first screen using the get dot to method. Okay. So when we will click on the previous screen, we will be redirected to our first screen. At this time, because we have used the get dot to method, now our first screen is also having a go back arrow in its app bar. Now, if we want to navigate to another route and we want to receive some data as soon as it returns from that screen, okay. So for that, what we will do that on our fourth button, which is data from next screen, and its initial value is zero. So inside our stateful widget, here you can see I have a variable of string data type receive data, which is initialized to zero. Okay. So when I will clicking on this button, then we will be navigated to the third screen. And when we will come back from that screen again to our second screen, then this zero should be changed to some data which we will which we will be receiving from our third screen. Okay. So what we are gonna do that inside the on press method of this raise button, we will write our receive data equals to await. And then we will write get dot to method, and inside we'll write our fourth screen. Okay. Now because we have used await, so that's why we have to make our function async function. And after this, we will set the state of our received data to the value which we'll be receiving from our fourth screen. Now we are not using the state management provided by the get x, but we will see in our third part of this series. Okay, we'll see the state management and dependency injections of getx in our next video. So right now we wo I want it to be simple so you can understand. So that's why we have used the set state method for updating the value which we'll be receiving from our fourth screen. Now in our fourth screen, what we will be doing that we will use the get dot back method. Okay, now what this method will do that this will send the result. To the previous route. Okay, so inside this result, you can pass anything, whether it is an object, a class instance, or a map, or list, anything. So what we are doing, we are passing hundred as a result. Okay, so now if we click on our data from next screen. Okay, so we are having our fourth screen, and inside its raise button, what we are gonna do? We are using the get dot back method. And as result as a parameter, we are passing hundred. Okay, so when we click on this button, now you can see we are again on our second screen, and now the data from our next screen is hundred instead of zero. So this is how you can navigate to the next screen and receive data from next from that screen to your previous route. Now we will see how to use the name routes. Okay, generally, uh, people don't use uh, name routes, but GetX also provides that feature that how to use GetX name routes. So this is the syntax that how to declare your named routes. So inside your Get Material apps, you will be having this parameter. Okay, Get Pages. Here you have. So here you can. Declare all your list of pages as your name routes. So the syntax is get page name of that route and the page. I mean the screen that you want to navigate using that name. So here we are having our four name route as well. So how to use this name route? It is very much easy. Just as get dot to method. Now instead of using the get dot to method, you simply have to write get dot to named method. And here you have to write the name of your route. As simple as that. So now, if I click on this button, so yeah, we are navigated to our fourth screen. Now, simply, if we want to send some data from one screen to another using the using this name route, so how we can do this? So, so it is simple that using this get dot to named method here you can. Pass the name of your name route, and as well as it is having a parameter name argument. So here you can set you can send the data that you want that you want to pass to your next screen. Okay, what we will doing in our fourth screen that so in our fourth screen we are having a text. Okay, 
right now so earlier you have seen that when we have not that when we have not used the named route so there was a text name no arguments displaying on our fourth screen okay but now to fetch those arguments from our get dot to name method we will use get dot arguments simple so in our text uh, widget we are checking that if our get arguments is not null okay then we will show that argument okay we'll show that data to our screen otherwise we will show no arguments so now if we navigate to our fourth screen okay with parameters so now you can see we are having data from second screen okay this was my argument but uh, now if you now if we just navigate without parameters okay using this name route so now you can see there is no arguments but if we use our sixth button named out with arguments so it will be having argument data from second screen so now let us say that if you are using this name route okay and you want to go to the next screen with no option to go back as we have seen earlier without using the name route you can you have to simply write instead of get off you have to write in get dot off name and uh, specify the name of your route simply you can use the other function which is of dot all name and of all so i hope you have liked this complete route navigation of getx package because it's very easy and it is very quicker and practical way to manage your routes in your flutter application so if you like this video then please do like and share among your friends and in our next video we'll see how to use the state management and dependency injections of using getx package so thanks for watching and keep fluttering